Hello and welcome to an overview of the Spring Open project. My name is Saurav Das and I'm a consultant with the ONF and the project lead for this open source project funded by the Open Networking Foundation. The motivation for this project from the ONF's point of view is that um, STN and OpenFlow have been successful, but mainly in the data centers with software switches and in overlay networks. But when it comes to hardware switches, many misconceptions abound, like OpenFlow is not mature, it doesn't work with current hardware, it doesn't scale, and so on. But OpenFlow has steadily evolved towards production readiness, starting with version 1.1 of the OpenFlow protocol that came out a few years ago, uh, and more recently, the more stable versions of 1.3 and 1.4. And so from the uh, ONF's point of view, they wanted to start a project which would demonstrate the maturity and scale of the ONF work product in hardware that is readily available today. Uh, you don't have to wait for new hardware. You can use hardware that exists today and, and with that use the latest stable versions of the ONF protocols like OpenFlow 1.3. Other um, uh, goals of the project are to provide feedback to the ONF work groups and also to promote adoption by creating this core kernel that can be taken by third parties and extended for value add towards deployment interoperability and differentiation. So the ONF's um, technical advisory group decided uh, uh, to uh, build a, a small prototype of a networking scenario uh, that involves uh, SDN control of open segment routers where the routers themselves are built on bare metal hardware that uses merchant silicon ASICs. And segment routing is a relatively new concept uh, uh, from the IETF, um, which is standardizing it. And the IETF calls it SPRING, which stands for Source Packet Routing and Networking. There's a lot to like about segment routing. In, uh, like SDN, it believes in eliminating complex uh, distributed protocols like LDP and RSVPTE. It introduces the source routing paradigm via segments, which really just map to labels uh, in the MPLS data plane. And it uh, introduces globally significant labels, which uh, make the networks far more simpler to operate and easier to debug. Uh, the way to think about segment routing is that it's a better MPLS network without any actual change to the MPLS data plane. And ON Lab's involvement in this project is via the ONOS uh, operating system. It's the operating system of choice for this project. ONOS itself, uh, is a platform uh, for multiple services like multi-layer packet optical integration, NFB, BGP, and so on. And it works on many different uh, kinds of uh, switching types like software switches and optical switches and possibly newer hardware switches. But Spring Open's um, work uh, with ONOS is mainly for implementing segment routing on existing hardware switches. And these existing hardware switches um, uh, we have Dell involved in this project uh, with their open networking switch. Um, Dell has always been uh, in the forefront of the open networking movement by allowing uh, other operating systems to run on uh, their open networking switches. And for this project, uh, they, they ran the uh, Force 10 operating system, which they modified uh, to enable the hardware abstraction the, that, is, that was necessary for changing these uh, switches uh, to behave like uh, segment routers. So we needed the IP routing and the MPLS uh, forwarding tables uh, as well as uh, ECMP group um, um, functionality to enable uh, this prototype and demonstration uh, on uh, the Dell hardware. So we have shown a number of features on the prototype we have built with Dell hardware and ONOS. Uh, we have shown that we support global labels and default routing using ECMP and uh, penultimate hop popping. We have also shown that we can recover from uh, uh, data plane failures using uh, consistent loop-free updates from the controller. We have shown uh, source routed loose hop tunnels that use uh, prioritized policies to direct traffic into those tunnels. And we have uh, shown uh, strict hop tunnels uh, which use um, locally significant adjacency labels to do fine-grained traffic steering, which is also useful for NFV use cases. We have shown that um, 
we can um, load balance uh, on non-ECMP parts again by using uh, adjacency labels and this feature is useful for traffic engineering traffic engineering applications uh, and finally uh, we have also shown the power of SDN the power of uh, software written outside the box uh, to get around the limitations of hardware in the case where hardware has limits on the number of labels that it can simultaneously impose on a packet. So we have shown a, a number of features and, and, and all of these features have been implemented on hardware from Dell uh, using ON Labs ONOS controller. If you wish to learn more, please visit our wiki uh, where we give a lot of details on our work. Uh, and thanks for listening.